a coffee shop does provide you with an amazing opportunity to like be part of a community and even like maybe be like the heart of a community. In a small town like Redlands here, like really a lot of times I come in here and it feels like a hub. And I think that that's like a, a great sign of success when, you know, a high school kid who just had a bad day, who's, you know, you know, just churning through comes in and he can have a good experience in here. And then an executive at Esri can come and have a meeting and they can sit right next to each other and, and maybe even like strike up a conversation about the art or about the coffee. Um, I think that's kind of, that's a good, that's success right there. When we buy a coffee, I want to see photos of the farmer picking the cherries. I want to see the history of the farm. Like, did he get this from his grandparents? Did he buy it in 1992? Like, where did, what's the lineage of this farm? What's the lineage of this coffee? Um, it helps me sell the coffee, and it also just provides, you know, just such a great sense of community with the coffee, too. It's a family feeling. I think it's being really involved in the community. I think it's um, really, really caring about coffee, spending a whole bunch of time drinking coffee, thinking about coffee, learning new skills, practicing. Um, we source our coffee, we roast everything. Everything's fresh. We never sell anything older than you know five, six, seven days. Um, all of those things contribute greatly into the difference between us and some of the bigger stores. We just, we don't force things. And we've been super lucky um, in, what, in the things that have organically happened around us. And it's really kind of become an unspoken mantra around here is we don't force it. Um, we just, you know, stay true to ourselves and, and do things that we believe in. And the results have been good so far and, and hopefully they continue to be. It happens in the coffee shop like we were talking about before with the customers and then it also translates back to Colombia and Brazil and Ethiopia. And there's a sense of community that moves that way too. And the baristas up front are really acting as that go-between. They're the go-between between the farmer. The farmer's doing 75% of the work. He's doing all the hard work, all the lifting. Um, and basically what we're doing is trying to screw it up as little as possible on the roaster and then screw it up as little as possible in the front and give the customer a reason to buy the coffee. Does it taste great? Does it have a good story? Is, you know, is the money from the coffee going to a really good cause? Like, you know, we're providing that connection, connection between the farmer and the consumer. And that's what a really good barista is doing is being a knowledge base that prompts somebody to spend maybe two or three times what they would usually on a coffee. But then we gotta make sure that that money's going back someplace where it's being spent wisely. We, Augie's is pretty lucky. It seems like whenever we do anything, people respond pretty well to it. So if, if we have an art auction, people buy the art, you know. And um, we do with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. That's a big thing we get behind every year. Um, and we sell bags of coffee. Um, and actually, one of our amazing importers, Bodie Leaf Coffee, um, out of Fullerton, they've been nice enough in the past to actually donate an entire bag of coffee at which we roast for no cost. And then we provide 100% of sales right to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Um, the reason we've got involved with that is one of our longest tenured baristas, um, both of his nieces actually um, have cystic fibrosis. So we've done a lot of stuff in the past for that. We've done the coffee thing. Um, we printed little, we had keychains made, we sold those. We've done art auctions where local artists have donated artwork to us and then allowed us to auction it off, again, with all proceeds going back. It takes a lot of people, it's not just me for sure. There's a lot of moving pieces and there's a lot of people helping this whole thing go. Um, the Amentos, the owners of Augie's, mom and dad, their son Austin, they're a huge, huge part of what's occurred here. And they've been good enough to kind of let Austin and I, their son, kind of have our own way here. And it's turned out good so far, we'll see. We'll see what happens, so.